Well, good afternoon. I'm Simon, uh, Flights in Simon, or whatever you want to call me. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I've been asked a number of times, especially by Harry, <laughs> no, no, no problems, Harry, um, to talk about Sim Toolkit Pro. Now, look, I'm not an expert at it, but I do use it. I use it effectively, in my opinion, and it works a treat for me. Um, it's free. However, they would like donations. Um, that's your choice. Um, anyway, SimTalkit Pro, what is it? it? For my opinion, it's an electronic flight bag. It does an awful lot of things. Um, and you don't even need an account. But if you don't have an account, it, if you wipe it off your computer, you lose all your flights and everything. So I tend to have an account. I've signed up. You can see my email address on there. Luckily, my password is hidden. Um, upon signing in, Okay, upon signing in, um, this is the dashboard. Now the dashboard is showing you across the world how many SIM Toolkit Pro pilots there are. And there are 581 at the moment across the world. It's showing you your last flights, um, how many flights you've done, how many different types of aircraft, how many hours you've done, and where you last landed. So if you wanted to continue um, from where you landed and do it that sort of way you can your flight log is on here it tells you your feet per minute landing as well um, don't laugh at some of these i was testing out different versions of uh, mods and things um, for fly by wire so i wasn't really interested in landing properly however that's my excuse and i will stick to it <laughs> across this side you've got all the latest news of what's going on as well it's just going to take on a little bit of a tour um, live map, this I love, especially in flight. You can set it up how you want to. Now across the top you've got a number of different menus. SDKP is to switch on the SIM um, Toolkit Pro Pilots. I particularly don't need to see them and don't want to see them. Um, not being rude, but I don't. That SIM, when your SIM is connected and vPilot is on, or whatever tool you use, that sim will then show you whatever you've selected. So I have the um, that sim aircraft, the air traffic controls, and also the airports. So um, that to me is important. So I can see, um, I can actually get to see at that point if there's a tower online or an approach or just ground that there is an aircraft here. So it must be very quiet actually because it is pulling through. Oh, and ATC is just pulled through as well, so you can see that uh, Nottingham um, is on ground, and uh, it does cut in and out. London Centre is on as well, and um, yeah, so there was an aircraft at um, wherever that is, Cardiff. Okay, so if you use IVAO, you can do the same, FS Cloud, Pilot Edge, Overlays, you can choose what you want, Night or Day, Airspace Boundaries, which I like. Um, your different I don't need to go through all of these this all hopefully will make sense for you um, controls do you want to follow me and if so you can put in your um, call sign so that means the aircraft will follow you and highlight it my phone shouting out to end updates map style again pretty self-explanatory I like map nip you can go through light you can go through dark you can go through satellite Whichever one floats your boat, I've tend to like uh, map Nick. Into the options, um, loads of different things to play with in here, but I'm not going to go through everything again. I can put my uh, my VATSIM network ID in here so it can find me on online and tie me to my aircraft. Oh, uh, you can see the other aircraft are pulling through now from VATSIM. Um, same with IVAO. Um, you can change the colour of the VATSIM aircraft or yourself. Um, I find that quite useful. Um, flight planning. I'll spend a couple of minutes here. As go, this isn't a full tutorial. This is just a walkthrough, pretty much, of some of the basic features and what I will do. And again, some of these are really straightforward. You can create a new plan directly in here. You can load your latest from Simbrief. Clicking that, it will pull it automatically through. So my last one was uh, flight U2842 um, going, if I remember that was Birmingham to, uh, oh, it's at the bottom, 
there you go go from Birmingham through to Edinburgh um, the, the bit I really like is search for it by airline real flights if you put in I want to go from Birmingham and I would like to go to let's say Ibiza it takes a minute just for the information to load now there's every flight from Birmingham by every operator you can just search through now I know there is a flight to um, Ibiza and I know it's done I think uh, Jet2 and 2 it says Ryanair do it as well I didn't know that from Birmingham let's say I want to pick that flight that will now load um, all of the flight plan information that the company flight plan information that TUI would use now aircraft two ways to do this when you're setting up you can set up your aircraft in your fleet or you can do it as you go on the fly it's important that you choose this correctly because it will match this to Simbrief I've already set one up it's really easy you just start to type the tail number in so I'm going to be using the A320 my call sign will be BAW500 just making one up for now it's automatically loaded this from the flight that you've chosen but you can over type it of course next I'm using Microsoft Flight Simulator I want to use pounds so I'm going to leave that as pounds I hit generate plan it will now log into Simbrief it will now create my plan on Simbrief it will bring you back to here that's done there's my route if I click now a couple of things on here I can export this from here I can go on here and pre-file this to VATSIM if I wish I now that bleep you just heard there is uh, Simbrief downloading automatically the, the route we've just created um, for me I quite like the fact of fly now there's my flight plan my ILS frequency anything I need for my flight transition levels all the way down to here now this is asking me at the bottom to connect to the sim I'm not running the sim at the moment um, for the simple fact that I'm just doing it at this demonstration back to live map for just a minute just a minute I'll have my mouth down to the bottom I can click on Navigraph now if you have a Navigraph account you can sign in click on flights new flight from Simbrief that's the account and there's the flight there's the, um, what we just created I can load my charts up overlay my charts once the sim is connected of course but we'll go for that airport the sim won't connect it's not loaded but it will show me where I am on the charts and so on when I'm done I can simply just close that I can type in EGBB and click meta and there is the meta information um, I don't use sky vector but you could load a sky vector up as well not something I choose to use and your terminal um, information as well for, for EGBB is on there as well so that um, I find really useful so we've looked at flight planning if I'm going to click reset for a minute we've got create a flight plan load from Simbrief um, that's due to come you can use VFR planner um, which is due to come as well I don't use those um, now if I've already got let's say a navigation pro X or anything along those uh, lines I can import professional flight planner um, I can load in those informations from here as well or I can just drag and drop them or if I've already just got the route I can just bang it in here and it will create it as well so there's loads of different ways to create a route um, I think my, there's my current flight there'll be a progress bar across here now across here as well you've also got some departure charts now these aren't free <laughs> donate no thank you um, I prefer the Navigraph charts because they're up to date and I can pop over the top of them as well. Um, see the stars. I just don't find all of this user friendly, open full version. No, I don't want to. Anyway, there we go. That's that's around there. Logbook. This shows you all the flights you've done. 
using Navigraph. Now, according to this item 45 flights, you can see where you've been, um, where the current hours you've done, um, how many miles you've done on here, and there's all your flights. Now, if I look at my flight to Birmingham, I was doing a test flight today. I can reopen it, reopen the flight plan. I can look at a full landing report. This will tell you where I touched down on the runway and it will tell you how far away from the centre line you were. There's so much information you could really get into if you really wanted to. Um, fleet, now this is where you can add your aircraft in. It's a lot easier to add them from here. Flight schedules, I tend not to do anything in here, but if you like flying um, certain routes all the time, you can just set them up. That's your choice. Landing reports, I've just shown you that. That's already part of the logbook tools. Tools and data. There's some bits and bobs in here for different types of sims. So airports, I can go to EGBB. I could look at Birmingham and it tells me all about it, where it is, what the meta is, the runway, information. Everything I want to know is, is all in one place. Checklists. Now this works, I believe, for X-Plane only, which I don't own. Mind you, FS Labs is on there, so that may. Either way, I'm on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't have the luxury of FS Labs or uh, any of those others at the minute. Wind calculator, um, EGBB. If you type in the runway that you're going to be landing at, it'll tell you the wind direction um, that's connected to that, or it'll tell you which runway is in use at the moment. Um, that will give you arrival details as well about crosswinds and, and so on. So that's really good. Network, let's have a look. This will tell you who's on, where they are and what they're doing. Approach system. Now this is the bit that is only for Zebo and X uh, plane. So we're not going to look at that today. If you like streaming, now this is quite good. You've probably seen some of my streams where I've got a bar across the top telling you how high I am, where I am, what speed I am, where I'm going, what my call sign is on VATSIM. All of that is produced from here. Um, you've also got, um, if we look on here, you've got an overlay map which you will see on mine as well. And it's a little map telling you where we are, what we're doing, and uh, I can control all that from here. Camera director, again, is x -plane only, so um, I'm not going to look at that. And then the settings are quite straightforward. I'm not going to go through all of those. Now, it's a very quick whittle-stop whittle tour, about a 10 to 15 minute video. This doesn't cover everything. If you've got anything you want me to get into more detail on, leave me a message and I'll run a small video just showing you that. But I'll be more than happy to um, have a chat with anybody that's stuck. Um, apart from that, I hope you're very well and we shall catch you very soon. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's a new channel. I don't have too many subscribers and so uh, the more I get, apparently the more people can see my content. Um, so I would appreciate that. And if you did like the video, please click the like button. Enough begging. Um, Roger that. Over and out and uh, speak to you very soon. Bye bye.